I just wanted it over all we can. I just wanted it to be over. You sure you don't want this TV turn sound turned down? Hiya, here we are, um, Telford International Dirt Bike Show, I think it's called. Uh, we have a stand just to show off some of the bits and pieces, and if I'm honest, it's good for us to be to have a deadline to build stuff too. So we bought a few bikes for people to look at. We're not really selling anything, we're just showing stuff off. So have a look what we got. All right, so this is the Ryan Villapoto race bike from uh, VMXE and Fox Hill from 22. We're gonna redo it for next year, 23. Um, change the graphics up in a few bits and pieces. But overall, he was happy with it, so don't fix it if it then broke. So there's so much to go out. We're gonna do a test in the next few weeks with the bike. Uh, we're gonna get it in the workshop for you so we can take the plastics off, show you what we've done, why we've done it, more importantly. And, um, just going through it briefly now, just quickly. Uh, Ryan was riding a uh, YZF 450 and he didn't like the way that he sat inside the bike. So we lowered the tank 15 mil, lowered the subframe 15 mil, raised the seat up 15 mil. So it, it sits a lot flatter for him. So he can move around on the bike a lot easier. Uh, it, it was a lot of work for small changes, but these guys appreciate it. And when they get what they need, they go fast. Uh, because. Mike had ridden Fox Hills a few times before, him and Ryan got talking and they know there's fast up and down hills so between us we decided to put a steering damper on because they're hanging off the back of the bike, holding on by the, the fingertips really, so we put a steering damper on so the bars wouldn't, it wouldn't get out of control going down the hills while they're on the gas, believe it or not. So we got some X-Star Racing Yamaha clamps, welded a lug on the frame, used a Showa steering damper from a CRF 450 and um, the guys were happy we had it cranked up to flat out so it worked really good it was a pain in the ass to do but it, it was another little mod which seemed unnecessary at the time but is this another string to the bow the guys were happy you are an ugly geezer i'll give credit where credit's due i don't know how you ever managed to get so this one is a 2008 rm 250 um we built out of parts because there's a lot of factory parts on this one we did it up as a travis pastrana 2003 graphics with a Sobe, um, only because I like Travis. I worked with Travis for four years on the goggles. Lee McCollum, who was Travis's mechanic, is one of my best friends. So I kind of know what the bike should be and what it, what it shouldn't. So this is a full factory frame, factory linkage, factory foot pegs, uh, a race team pro circuit pipe, carbon silencer, full tie bolt kit, A kit suspension, billet clamps, uh, mag rear hub. It's got everything. It's a proper thing. Um, I was a little bit nervous building Suzuki's because I love them but not everybody else does and everybody wants a Honda but I love them so um, we, we put a couple together for the show the show is always a good sharpener for us so we got a deadline to work to otherwise you always work on something else so we got I had to work late on the Carmichael bike the Pastrana bike got done a couple of weeks ago uh, and they look they look shiny uh, the hardest part with these is actually getting the parts like the seat cover the sprockets all those companies are uh, long gone. So finding the right products is really hard. Um, factory stuff's always tricky, but even the off the shelf stuff's hard to find now. But I think we did well with this one, looks nice. So this is the factory frame, uh, factory steering stops. Apparently uh, RC in the early days used to smash the standard steering stops off uh, through the whoops. So what they did is they moved the stops down the lower frame because AMA production rule means you can't remove anything from the frame, but you can add to it. So they machined some stops on here, remade a new bottom triple clamp with the steering stop here, which actually five years later they incorporated to the RMZ, but this was early days. 
Um, so there's no stop on the front of the frame. It's now down the down tube. Just means you ain't gonna break it. You see this little sticker here? That's Olympic powder coating in Santa Ana, California. They do all the factory Suzuki powder coat and all the pro circuit powder coat back in the day. It's just a little family owned business. It's gone now or it's been sold. It just means it's a real thing. So there you go. Okay, so factory Suzuki frame, case guard we make to replicate the factory one. Weld on lugs there, the factory piece. Skid plate I had to make to match the lugs for the original factory frame. I had to swage in the uh, bolt recesses. Um, factory frame has an extra tab on here for the back brake pedal height. Factory titanium foot pegs. Uh, factory foot peg pins with a circlet, not a split pin. A little bit of safety wire, to just belt and braces. So that's pretty much what you're looking at there. So the front hubs on factory Suzuki's were only ever stock hubs that have been machined. So I put these on a lathe, machined out the ribs, polished up the hub, and um, people always say to me, oh, they're odd wheels. Well, that's the way Suzuki's were. So the front hub is a stock, is a stock hub machined up, oversized floating disc, and then the factory yellow gold rims you can't buy. So we take a Talon hub, we get Ollie Benton at Ceramex to um, Cerakot it to look like a magnesium hub. Uh, it's anodized rear brake carrier, our own factory replica axle blocks, our own titanium axle, our own 7075 aluminium nut, um, and titanium adjuster bolts, factory Suzuki brake banjo bolts, and we even modify the axle to look like a factory Suzuki one. So what you, you've got a skid plate I made, this case guard we made, the linkage is factory linkage. So the hardest part about some of these period builds is getting the right aftermarket parts because some of these companies just don't exist anymore. They don't make the stuff anymore. One industry, one industry has made the graphics and seats for the race teams, they're not about. So to find the right seat cover with the right texture was hard. The right grips, tag grips, the right sprockets. I had to call some favors in to get this thing correct. All right, so that's Telford Bike Show for us. Sunday afternoon, we're going home. See you later.